हेलो सर यस ओके सो वी आर लाइव नाउ एंड आई हैव माय मेंटर डॉक्टर शोइबाल सेन गुप्तो सर विथ मी एंड आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू दिस अनदर सीरीज दैट वी आर प्लानिंग टू हैव अ सीरीज ऑफ टॉक ऑन एम्फीबियंस रेप्टाइल्स एंड मेनी अदर टॉपिक्स सो ऑन दैट वी हैव टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग uh amphibians of uh, india but specifically will be highlighting on the amphibians of northeast india so uh, before i start off and please uh, keep on a question maybe like keep li question limited to one question like if you have two question as well please put it in one uh, comment uh, not multiple comment then it becomes hard for me to track those down so anyway uh, sir welcome sir uh, thank you for thank your you. time so sir before we start uh, uh, because uh, apart from there are te there would be some technical people who will be very interested to know herpetology that uh, there are many but there will be many more like many people from press will be joining us debayon is already saying hello sir hello anyway so uh, many press and many other uh, uh, fraternity and all inclusive that since we are in facebook so many people will be interested not in depth in the technical term but a little bit about the overview of the whole thing so as i start and we have that format i would really like to know like when you started uh, we did not we did not have much herpetological work in northeast india it's a way, so sir i would like to know when you started right uh, like what would be the year uh, it was around 1992 93 i had started uh, working on this actually this very peculiar and very interesting later it become interesting earlier it was uh, not so much uh, specifically i started with snakes there okay. is some reasons behind okay would like fact, to know, sir. in fact i am a student of geology with specialization fishery at that time we have only uh three specialization and i choose this uh, fishery as my specialization subject and i have done my phd on fish specifically toxicology but i am working in a college here i as you know this my uh, yeah. it's my privilege to declare that college as arjubitapit college yes sir and uh, this arjubitapit college uh, we have large number of students and at that time there was in practical there was a uh, particular element submission and students used to come to me and all the teachers collecting various types of insects in, uh, vertebrates etc and for snakes and reptiles specifically reptiles we could identify the snakes only on two occasions that's our uh, two types one is matrix at that time lal was our actually the authority book as matrix that's that the dhora or chekat kilback and naja that two was only known to us and students used to come to us with so many specimens and we could not identify and that struck me that we should try start identifying this and at that time as you know there was no literature available here and the first book i could gather for identification was that of snakes of india and barba that's by kazali published in 2014 and i started 2000? visiting the 2000 uh, sorry 1914 1914 ah uh, okay sir okay kazali kazali so, Uh, and that time getting that book is also very difficult by contemporary uh, researchers and uh, also those academician will know that getting a book we have to write to agra moti katra banarilal das i think as i can remember banarilal das that was one uh, bookseller and such type of books are only available at moti katra agra 
a binary little touch, binary little touch. Okay. So I got a got that book, that's the Casalis book, and started identifying snakes based on this book. There's a very small number of specimen that were included, and I have started going to the museums of local colleges and university, the Guwahati University, and started that. Later, I could gather there is the series which are authority till today. There's the fauna of British India, and I procured that fauna of British India. So I started with snakes, and my first research scholar is also uh, actually worked on snakes. Manoj Burua. This, Dr. Mike, you will, you will be doing because you were with me <laughs> for, <laughs> I believe, uh, for the last. 20 years yes. or more. Yes. yes. Uh, so, sir, I just wanted to know one more thing. Uh, like uh, you are talking about these books that uh, somewhere in uh, Vanaras you got this Banwari Lal. And because book would not. Not Banaras, it is Agra. Agra, sorry. It is in so, Agra, uh, Motikatra Agra. Motikatra. So, sir, one more thing. Like uh, there would be some papers also at that point of time. Uh, when you extended your research, you found that you also needed paper. Nowadays, we are getting it from various sources. But what was your method? We have to write to in stock. Uh, in stock. INS DOC. Okay, sir. A National Documentary Center, it is. Okay. So okay. we had to write to that in stock. A few days back, I have uploaded one of the forms. That's yeah, in, yeah, we have, yeah, you have seen probably that yeah. uh, we had to write to them, but very rarely you will get answer and and that also it will take ar around two to three months. So, so we we visit. I started visiting Calcutta and Koshik. Koshik have lots of references and Shushil also. Koshik Koshik Duty. Duty. And yeah. Sushil also, Sushil Dutt, he is okay. the pioneer. Lots okay. of references and get it Xerox and came back and started working. And at that time, there was no, in fact, no literature available on snakes. And I started going through the uh, BNHS publication. And mm -hmm. BNHS publication, most of the snake literature was in BNHS publication, that of Waltz. Mm -hmm. Frank Waltz. Uh, Frank one. So, he sir, has written uh, some. Uh, yeah, please. For Nasa, he has also written some like Dibrigar and all like uh, popular treaties uh, yeah, of, of India. Aparasam and popular treaties of, of India. Nagaland, then uh, also some Naga Hills, then Meghalaya, and yes. lots of species he has declared also, uh, uh, described also. Okay. So, sir, uh, we were, uh, as of now, we were uh, uh, limiting our discussion to snakes, but what, how there was a jump from snake to frogs or amphibians? Yeah, there is a story. I started visiting uh, this JSI, and during one of my visits, uh, uh, I believe with students, if I, uh, with discussion students, in one of my visits, I, I could meet one gentleman, young boy, at that time, he was Dr. Indranil Dash. Okay. Later, he became a very good friend of mine. Okay. And Indranil, at that time, was working in just joint snake park. That's a, a, a NCBT, Madras Crocodile Bank Trust. And uh, he influenced me to work on, because after snake, I have also started some little work with turtle. Mm -hmm. and. He influenced me to come over to this field, the amphibia. Hmm. And I have found this field is very interesting, very challenging. Hmm. So okay. I switched over around 98, 99 to amphibia, started working on amphibia. Now I'm limiting my work specifically on amphibia only. So, sir, uh, uh, like uh, amphibia, when you started and uh, it was like uh, after snake, you have like you said that you started in 1992 and then you started with MFV somewhere around 98. So you have yeah. a six, six, uh, like six year experience of field, like almost a little bit like that. 
so my question is like uh, how, what is the like you have seen uh, the reptile as, uh, aspect of snake and you are, you are you have started doing amphibia so in field work what is the like what do you identify as the main difference for researcher who are working mm -hmm. with amphibia or working with snakes in case of snakes uh, it's actually in the field it is by chance you can get a snake it's very Correct. difficult but in amphibia it's mm. more or less you can get uh, if you can go in time that is they are in their peak period if you know the habitat definitely you will get the amphibians and uh, however this there are lots of nocturnal snakes also and uh, mm -hmm. during our visit to uh, this uh, national parks or in the forest we have mm. came across large number of snakes as well and we have some incidents with the snakes also while finding out that while searching for the amphibians Amphibian. and so so sir uh, like uh, what was the first uh, um, uh, contribution of yours if you can remember in the field of amphibian like in paper or something like that my first contribution is was uh, probably on the amphibians of kamloop district okay there was a paper and, yes yeah and also some short notes that's mm. the short notes in bnhs mm. there's a occurrence of uh, this now it is uh, not upper that a time it was upward and globulosum mm -hmm. as well as uh, crassas mm. and then distinction between crassas and that's the I'm talking about this Hoplobetracus, Crassus yeah, and Tigerinus. That's where the initial phase. So why I, I believe? No, no, can continue, sir. I believe the first major contribution was uh, with Indranil, Feroz, and Shushil. We described a new species of Kalola. It was around 2004. Kalola was, uh, Kalo Okay, Kalola Asamensis. 2000. So, sir, I have another. Uh, why I ask you all this question? Like, what was your first publication and all? And every time somebody uh, comes and I ask the same thing, what was your first publication and when? You, because many of the uh, viewers of this, they are thinking like now that in one point of time you are describing species and doing lots of research, or high funder research, or many of the research team are doing. So every I wanted to give them the message that everything starts from that short note, but uh, many people yeah. like they are losing very valuable data searching for bigger paper. This smaller paper should not be ignored. That is what I, I was trying to say with all this perspective. What do you think, sir? Yeah, yes, it's very important. Every time we started looking at the natural history which is very important. This natural history will give you the idea about their ecology. The, not going into very strict ecological work. You can have the ecological sense of a species through this natural history study, and that's nothing but observation. Mm. So go and observe. And as I said, you said 92 to 98, we have published only two or three papers because initial phase, it mm. took long time to no, what are these? We even don't know what's the temporal. Yesterday we were talking about mm -hmm. the snake mm -hmm. characteristics. Mm -hmm. The day before also, this mm -hmm. a character we don't know anything about. And mm -hmm. we start at that time there was no internet, nothing available. And yes. that's why we have to, I have to start from scratches. Mm -hmm. What is temporal? What is upper labial, uh, supralabial, infralabial? Mm -hmm. All these are actually not known to me even how to count the venture. Correct, Petric correct. Once correct. Comes to, Petric once comes to me, uh, to my lab. Patrick David. Patrick David. David. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. He was carrying his own uh, that's, uh, microscope. Okay. And uh, do you know how you count the ventral? You can't. At every 10, he used to put a pin. Pin, yeah. And at that pin, he also actually count the scales around the body yes yes that's what yesterday i was talking about like a scale reduction thing so yeah. that was my point so sir i will just again come back to the our uh, the amphibian. main topic is amphibian so sir uh, 
as of now that we were like we were already working with some amphibians of assam and we uh, we know about like there are ab around 60 species of amphibian a rough figure for assam so do you think sir with uh, more because there are m many uh, students as well who are uh, trying to work in this field so do you think with in depth study and modern use of modern technology we can come up with uh, mo more or exponential growth of amphibian species in uh, this assam or northeast as a whole yes i do and i do believe there will be more than 100 species in actually what's assam you were talking about yeah uh, no now i am talking about this political boundary of assam but yeah, i understand the point. yeah the like, if we look at the landscape the same landscape extended from assam to nagaland Asham to Manipur, Asham mm. to Arunachal, Asham mm. to Meghalaya. Mm. So whatever spaces found in this map, landscape, mm. you forget about the elevation, not I'm not talking, but they are also maybe found in Asham as well. Okay. Because uh, there are examples, so for example, recently we got the species which is described from this, uh, Urnachal, this Nambapa, hmm. there's a Euphrates Goshi. Goshi, yes. Available, yeah. Euphrates Goshi, it's a, there's only description. Hmm. That's a, only the holotype is available. Hmm. And holotype and the types. No further, in 1986, I believe it was described by Chanda. Hmm. And hmm. Hmm. not it in Nagaland. Hmm. It was from Urnachal. Uh, hmm. Uh, within the from Namdafa, now it is uh, we have found it in Nagaland, and that too in the market. <laughs> so collected sir, locally. Yes. Uh, so, sir, I will like uh, come back to uh, points like uh, what are the because you have sent me already uh, PowerPoint that will go to uh, we will discuss yeah. two important points like what are the uh, field protocol and what are the landmarks of uh, uh, doing measurements on amphibian so mm -hmm. as as like you have a such a lot of uh, field experience uh, because you are you were there active for a uh, since two, uh, 1992 so sir uh, in this period of time like any like people are writing like uh, uh, manos has written sir Tell me, at least I was also wanting to know any such experience that you will remember throughout rest of your life, any experience that you had in field before we go to the hardcore uh, taxonomy thing. Yeah, there are lots of experience. And you were with me. You know what happened. <laughs> if one thing was common in every field visit. <laughs> I will fall once or more. <laughs> and the second experience was, you know, yeah. I was a chain smoker. Yes, yes, I know that. Nong Khai Lam Chit. Mm. <laughs> yeah. No, there was a trip at Upper Asham. We are collecting fire huh. At that time, mm. it was uh, Kyromintis. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a fire mm. we are collecting. Mm. Whatever I have collected, all mm. died. Mm. What happened? <laughs> my <laughs> uh, actually, uh, 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 Nipen and others have, uh, uh, Bhuktiar has collected, they are alive. alive. Nicotine. <laughs> nicotine, nicotine uh, that's why it's a nicotine effect. <laughs> yeah. Third so, experience yeah. was in, now it is the uh, Hinta time, Joypur Reserve huh. Forest. Huh. We got Poperium. Huh. And that Poperium, you have seen that. Yeah. Huh. When while we are catching it, it actually that's the the bite. It bites not bite. Actually, that's the fang enters into the uh, finger of Jayantam. Jayantam Yes, yes, I know. And and at the time in the mid of the jungle, in the mid of the forest, at nine it was eight thirty around. It's how can I come out? And that too I will come out up to Joy. Then to Nahar Katia, but however, nothing has happened. Lucky. For the God, God has saved us. So all, all of... And also yeah. one, oh, you know, Obijit's episode inside my uh -huh. lap. Yeah, the, I was present, yes. 
so yeah. uh, that was also that was a really scary episode rather where he was scary? like yeah. I so was i will so much <laughs> yeah, yeah concerned and we all were so he was like yeah. to give you a brief he were like in icu because he was bitten by this white leaf pit viper so that was a little bit of sad but uh, we are happy that he made it through very nicely but i want to highlight <laughs> one story Yes, continue, Hello. sir. Yes, continue, sir. Uh, you, yeah, you you can remember, no? You have taken his photograph. Yeah, yeah, I have photograph. He used solid, at, yeah, in at, uh, yeah, Arya. Arya, Arya Hospital. Yeah. Arya Hospital. Later, he shifted, and every thing what he has happened, he has written down. Yes, I what know. medicine has been given, and he has recorded everything. So this is very important case study that he yeah. did on himself, and he on uh, himself. Sup he supposes he will publish sometime. He told me at one point of time that he he But maybe it he is only uh, it is it is only on uh, record, and when he has used to deliver some lecture, he used to show that. Not yet. Mm, that was published. That 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 photograph was taken by me. Anyway, so sir, yeah. I will tell everyone one incident that we had, and because sir already said that he was chain smoker. so it happened that we went to amsan so in amsan there we have to cross like streams so there they and it was rainy season so there are lots the it is flooded almost so we were like this much of water we are coming through and we are jumping on the rock so that we can jump over one another and we were coming so i turned back and i suddenly saw sir fell down and he had a cut here that day and it needs uh, uh, stitches Maybe it, it needed stitches, sir. Three. Yes. Ha. Uh, and Ashushin the whole was with us. Yes. The whole car sir was like this, but that is not important thing. The most important thing was, at that point of time also sir was smoking, and when he fell into the water, I cannot see sir. I can, it's like a feeling like Bahu Bali, where the child was like uh, taken out of the water. So I can see just the hand of the sir holding the cigarette. Everything was almost under water. The hand with cigarette was outside. so that is that was his love for cigarette but sir has left it so we can change for always for good so sir yeah i have quit cigarette smoking to... 2011 9 years back so it's it's great sir so this much of smoking i have seen uh, sir smoke and i know there a bit of uh, influence of his smoke is inside me as well in the lab so what i think is <laughs> what i think is we will now go to the hardcore uh, thing yeah. where i can uh, share you hardcore, some yeah actually hardcore uh, uh, i will prefer basic. yeah i will to yes. yeah basic because as you have saying many of yeah. non actually geologists non herpetologists yeah. are also watching and so sir. let's start it with basic if there is some hardcore things come up then we'll go and we'll discuss okay sir okay yeah. they can keep on asking questions so i'll just Yeah. go to the materials that you have given so we'll start with presentation number 1 uh what is this presentation uh, uh, collection and preservation of amphibian yeah i'll ah, show you i'll okay, show you you okay. can okay. see that i'm just trying to uh, get the things done so okay i believe the first slide is of planning okay so 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 uh can you see the screen sir now it is yeah i can see now now i'll just uh, go to the yeah, collection and uh, preservation yeah so all of you i hope they can uh, sir wait for a feedback and we'll come back to the yeah. presentation if anyone can just answer if you are uh, seeing the uh, screen on your laptop or mobile whatever you are using Uh, if you just you can answer yes no i'll be happy so we can continue i'm just waiting maybe somebody will answer i'm waiting yes hasan said yes so okay sir let's start uh okay so yes sir so i'll go to as you say i'll just navigate as you say so i'll go to this yeah sir just go through sir as so any type of field works require planning yes sir 
So what's this planning will include? First, you have to define what you like to do. Yes, what sir. is your objective? Yes, sir. And set the hypothesis. That's the defining of the problem. I will make it very short. Yes, then, sir. You can just. Huh. Yeah. Why? What? When? Okay, sir. That will give you the studies design. Okay. Where? Where you will carry out? That's the actual selection of the site. And it's very important to have a map of that area so that you can plan your work accordingly. And okay. after getting the map, what to do, when to do, what to do, you chalk out your work plan. And as you know, this okay. in amphibian study, we had to go during the evening, may continue up to late night. So before going to the field, uh, in fact, if you have a map, you can find out your workstation, as well as during the daytime, you have to survey the area. That is the recce we used to call, recce the area find out the suitable habitat and then in the evening or at night you can visit that area visit that area and the most important thing as that day also varod was talking about obtain permit yes. permission is very much essential and as you have said permission for that's the in uh, reserved areas reserved areas what we talked about this wildlife sanctuary, national park, biosphere reserve, you have to take it from the uh, forest. That means Asham Forest Department. And for forest. other areas from okay. biodiversity board, in Asham I am talking about. And okay, so res res got, respective, respective, respective state forest department they have to take. Uh, they have to, and biodiversity outside this uh, reserved area, and for any space, any species you like to work on, if it is in schedule two or one, you have that has to be. You have to take the permission for the MOEF. CC. Okay. Okay. So I go to the next slide. So yeah. yeah. So what? Why should we do collection? Yes. Very Just important to, point, sir. Sort out the diversity. Can you go to the next one also? Yeah. And if what we actually do in collection, we normally actually collect and preserve the specimen as voucher. So in you go on. I'm not going to because it's a in between in between I'll ask a question, sir. I'll hmm. ask few because many of the taxonomies because this is a description of the voucher. What is okay. a voucher? Yeah, yeah. That, that's a not. So, yeah. so, so, sir, I'll go to because we are dealing in little bit into tax, uh, taxonomy. So, I want to know, sir, like uh, uh, on uh, what is the utility of having a voucher specimen? In fact, what's the utility of a specimen? Yes, what is the utility? Yeah, specimen is the object which carries the character and on which the name is assigned. So if we, if I say it's a box. Yes. If you don't see the box, what is a box? Yes. I say pen. What's a pen looks like? It will say if you keep the object and the voucher is also, that's the object on which the specimen is, you can describe, if it is the original, it will be holotype. It is in the type series. And subsequent all are vouchers. And there are variations. Say for a species designate, uh, described from Meghalaya, you may get variation in uh, lowland areas of other actually, say for example, in the Kachar Valley, in okay. the Surma Valley. So okay. that's you voucher to what variation you have recorded that will be the voucher sir then i have a question like uh, in old literature there are many snakes and even maybe frogs i don't know are described okay. based on the painting 
which is which is known as iconotype but I, they have uh, they, they have seen the specimen and based on that specimen that they have seen and uh, have drawn or depicted the specimen that becomes the holotype and this yeah, sort of this sort of painting uh, uh, this sort of paintings are known as iconotype now my yeah. question is sir uh, the photographs shall or should also serve as a iconotype so why cannot yeah. we replace the specimen collection and replace it by photograph is it possible that we don't collect yeah, at all it's, and it's, it's, the, yeah it's possible in case of those specimens which are very distinct okay those which are very distinct but in case of this lower group of vertebrates this yes. actually you had to go for measurements all this and yes. if you go back to your literature you will find that's that dev bharat was talking about tt yes. reaching up to yes very good point he raised yeah yeah tt are reaching up to now this tt are reaching up to you cannot describe with the help of a photograph photograph yes it's not possible to describe so so, so, so the you have a means tibio tarsal articulation right sir tibio tarsal articulation that means between the tibia and tarsus that's the joint how you have to press it not very tightly just lightly at pressed along the length of the body then yes. you will get this tibio tarsal articulation reaching where Okay. and okay. whatever pressure you are giving today it should be similar for your subsequent study yes. so that yes. it can be comparable a parity should be there yeah yes so uh, so i go to the next slide sir and you talked about the uh, there's a photo voucher yes actually sir. there is a bird described in photo voucher yeah arunachal there was a bird described yeah. on photo photo voucher ramanna the photo voucher for holotype and yes. this singapore uh, raffles museum raffles here yeah. but then they yeah. don't allow, allow to describe but they just take voucher specimen of the voucher. described yes species yeah they used to yeah they have so, a photo library yeah yeah so when you were in a field how you will actually does that design your study yes and when when you are taking the sample i will come yes. to that later yes there's that uh this you have make what along a trail mm -hmm. or along a trail you can you can see it's a photo of a trail and uh, is it randomly searching the habitat if person is looking for actually the areas or the specimens actively and or you can make a randomized white design and look at every possible habitat you have to turn the log you have to leave the boulder but you you may dislodge it but put it in place again yeah replace it place it again at their original position so whatever disturbance you have made it should be restored to normal condition can you go to the next one you can see yourself <laughs> yes how so, you were searching yes how one of my actually one of my colleague you are also my colleague what i am talking about it's not me uh, it's on behalf of a team consisting of so many people from manoj bura manoj nipen choudhury to jayaditya purkas to dipankar dat to bhoktiar hushen i may leave someone joint to go goi prashant choudhury so many workers we work together and this is a team report not my so such aggressively in all possible micro habitat you see in the stream how one of my colleague is searching one of yes, my colleague, colleague is searching beneath the log so so i i just we are not doing any yeah sir i just want to add for many of the listeners like 
this is only uh, we are doing for uh, taxonomic study or finding the yeah. species. But if we start with ecological modeling, the uh, whole then that will be different. Yes. Then it will be you have to make your actually this uh, either what was that quadrate Square sampling plot quadrate, quadrate or uh, uh, transect sampling you have to make. Here yes. we are talking about taxonomy. So yes. what we are doing we are random actually aggressively searching all the possible microhabitat just yes. to get the sample of species. Yes. Mm. And at night, what happened? This is at night. What happened when we do visual encounter survey? Our collection is mostly male biased, yes. and you know call. why? Call, yeah. Uh, because we are attracted to call. Yes. And it is very easy to find out the specimen. Yes. So when you collect, you have to collect. A population. Population means two or three two or three samples yes. should contain a male and a female. Okay. And you may collect some more, but just take the characteristics. If you can measure measure it in the field, and it's better nowadays. Uh, lot, lots of uh, that's the apps are available. So. Put a scale and take photograph from every angle, and later you can convert it into that's the into measurements. Yes, yes. For some, and this is a pitfall that. trap. Where yes. also where we can collect those which are leaf litter species. Okay, please. Okay, okay. Next, yeah. That we the trap has been laid with that drift fence, as we know. This crawler, it may be amphibians or reptiles. When they get any obstruction, they will go along the path of this obstruction and the fall. There's the bucket. Why this bucket? Because the wall should be smooth. Otherwise, it may climb out. So okay. this bucket is placed and they will be collected there. But in such cases, when you Actually, lay any, lay any trap. You must be very careful to visit this actually trap every hour or so, because they may get desiccated or they may get attacked by the predators. Correct, correct. So yeah. I see a skink Next. in the bucket. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there was also uh, not only skinks. You know, you were with me. I think yeah yeah it's phenomorphous I think yeah anyway sir we move on to the next slide. It is in Kajidana. Okay okay and yeah there yeah. There was also microhyla. Yeah. Yes yes I remember now. These are the traps we use for arboreal as well as leaf litter species. The arboreal species you can see arboreal species seldom come down to the land on the ground. So if they get a habitat a, on the tree, they will lay the eggs. So here, what we have done here for their laying eggs as well as for their uh, actually uh, security habit to hide themselves, they will enter inside. Just put some leaf litter, a little bit of water, and fix it on the trunk, and that can be put at the ground also. So that and cover it with leaf litter, and the some leaf litter species will take refuge in this. And you know this nets and glue. We don't use glue, glue because glue, what happened? Red glue once used, it will not only uh, actually trap the target species, but also other non-target species. And sometimes they get actually killed. So. When you use glue, you have to be very closely watched that once the specimen get actually adhered to, you have to remove it with the help of vegetable oil. So we don't use glue. Nets are, is, uh, nets are very essential for stream as well as aquatic species. And here sampling quadrate, belt transect, line transect, you can lay and that's a 
and every type of specific can you go to the next one when you sample sample it at random sample all size and life stages what should be the size of the sample how many samples it depends on the texture on which you are working or texture on which you are working and also your intention of work for taxonomy five samples enough but i prefer to have two or three one male one female should be there hello hello yes sir you are back yes you are yeah, you was, was, i don't know how, why i was disconnected anyway And, you are back. Uh, all types of color variant as well as morphological variant may be collected and as i said you can take the photograph putting a scale behind and from every angle and every aspect to be photographed and any variation any type of uh, variation any abnormalities should be noted and during your noting you can it's very difficult to use pen uh, we use earlier we used this pencil and notebook now you can use your mobile where you can go on recording by saying on right right so we go to next slide sir yeah yeah this is one uh, collection anyway so, so this is our data type yeah so what the data types are that's are in the lab okay. you will do okay okay sir but in the field okay sir data to be captured it's very important there should be unique sample designation that may be field number or catalog number and every aspect of collection date and time as well as locality name of the talex collector if you can identify then taxonomic identification and in case of eggs and tadpoles or the larval stages we is to collect number so how many numbers you have collected and also when if you it comes later of course if you collect the tissue sample on you have either you have recorded the call for being color photos you have to mention and it should be related to your unique data actually number unique sample number and micro habitat should be noted physical and behavioral observation also should be recorded so these are the data to be captured during actually in the field yes sir and the photography of every aspect as i said because photography is also very important uh, and uh, because once it is preserved its color is lost there are certain artifacts that set in so photography will actually help in uh, overcoming that the difficulties of the problems okay okay uh, skip it skip it skip it skip it skip it habitat photography also now the specimen has to be fixed what should be the before fixing the live specimen has to be euthanized i believe the slide is later euthanized so for euthanization you can is use ethanol just put ethanol and knock them out or ms2222 chlorotin the best is for our for our collection we use benzocaine mucopen ointment that's a the tooth tooth ache ointment available in the dispensaries or the chemical drug is drug stores the mucopen you just put a little bit and uh, in between the eyes over the head as well as that means on the parietal region as well as in the belly region 
and little bit for smaller specimen around 0.1 gram and for larger specimen 0.3 gram that will help in knocking out that this uh, and sir, then, I just, yeah i just want to add to everybody like every like this was a protocol that at one point of time sir used to have and we used to have but now there are ethical committees in every i think university level or all so yeah. there is there are some certain protocol prescribed by uh, for the euthanization of animal there are certain specific protocol because in many journals also nowadays if you are not following the absolute uh, norms of uh, euthanizing the animal the uh, the paper get rejected one of the example would be nowadays you cannot use ethanol for euthanization like in previous time uh, ethanol was yeah. uh, injected to the heart to kill the no, animal no, no. but yeah uh, hmm. but nowadays in zoo texa for example they will not encourage a paper or they will not uh, 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 review the paper if it has a, so you need to uh, uh, see the guidelines of the international bodies or paper and it uh, it is different for every country so you have to keep the norms intact okay sorry what one, th one thing is that when you do this actually preservation or fixation you must have your permission of the ethical committee of your institution yes this is the first thing you must have ethical committee and get permission for working on animals okay. the second thing is uh ethanol should not be injected here we had used earlier that is putting them in ethanol only spraying over but we are using mostly this mucopain okay sir so i go to the next slide sir yeah I so guess. this is the euthan euthanasia and Next, after euthanization, it has to be sprayed, and after spreading, putting the specimen in a uh, posture so that further studies can be made. It has to be kept in formalin or soaked in formalin so that it will harden. And after around twenty-four hours, twelve to twenty-four hours, it will take time to harden. Wash it in water, and then put it in. alcohol and should be stored 70% alcohol of course uh, should be stored in dark so that and also this 100% alcohol is used for the tissue we can store liver tissue or the thigh blood any type of uh, actually body fluid swab and nowadays i believe paper sticks are available for collecting the swabs as well as the blood sample of so high media swab, paper no sir yeah. nowadays uh, swabs like most of the time we are doing that swabs and all you need not preserve any for example swabbing if you are doing it's a very good protocol because uh, yeah. you are not euthanizing the animal and it's great so what yeah, we yeah. do is like uh, yeah, there are some swabbing kit but if you don't have yeah. the one which is used for your ear wax removal you just uh, do uh, uh, you take two swabs not one the first swab uh, you keep it but sometimes the first swab will have some dust and food and everything inside the mouth so that may not work but the second swab generally works and you just do it uh, uh, sorry we got out of this slide so uh, okay. second second swab second swab you do it and uh, you need not have to put it in anything you can just keep the tissue and it can be there for at least Uh, one month you can and even maybe if you freeze it maybe one year but uh, you you can extract dna from that cotton ball only so yeah sir i go to the next uh, and one. i believe i there are swap kits are available hi yes, media yes sir these are yeah. all those er kit like things so uh. if you don't want to invest you can just er but is uh, fair enough uh, in fact uh, uh, this part you know we are doing it to you only <laughs> thank you so sir uh, can we go to the next uh, slide acha okay. next slide no no need of going for because we stop it here uh, okay. if there is any question we can go on yeah this is the way you have to and where yes, to sir. make the tag yes you can see what to make the tag how to make the tag it's it's your hand Yes. 
No. Can you recognize your hand? No, sir. It's not my hand, sir. Yes, it's yours. Let's go on. Yes. Oh, it's How Madhuri. How to make the tag? Yes. It's Madhuri Ma's hmm. hand, sir. Madhuri Ma's. Yeah, yeah. Your hand. <laughs> okay, sir. Better hand. <laughs> so we go to the next one, sir. Yeah, storage. So storage in, as I said, in seventy percent alcohol, does the the tag can be fit in that just above the knee on the right hind limb or at the waist in case of salamander around the neck. Then forget it. Be careful. Don't use formally formally hide with bare hand. And above all, the tadpole has to be stored in formalin because if you store it in ethanol, all the keratodont will drop, and that's a very important characteristic. Don't forget it. No, no okay. need. Okay, and carry. Forget. Okay. Stop it. Yes. Achha. And carry always literature. Uh, literature in the field. The one most thing is. In case of amphibian, mucus is very important for them. Do not remove the mucus if this like. Do not remove the mucus, and also the very important thing in field is now we are also doing that. Stay safe. Sir, what? Here, stay safe. Oh, stay field. safe. Yes, yes. Yeah, don't take any actually uh, state which may land. In, You to in danger, and here this is the pit tag that has been used, and it is the man, you know, everybody knows him. Yes, yes. He is at that. At, you see, the age is not a barrier, not for me, for him. Yes. He is at this age, moving, moving around, and uh, you see, he is doing pit tagging <laughs> for his own specimens. He is the most active one now. Sir, Achha. what do you think? Uh, Jaydeep, already fifty minutes have gone. I will be happy to have questions. Uh, questions. Okay, sir. We have already questions. Some questions are there, but we have to again go back to one slide that is very important, and we have to do that because they they say what are the important landmarks. So I'll just okay. go through what's written. What uh, if the, if we have question, I will get back to you. Uh, mm. अच्छा अनिर्बा अच्छा अनिर्बा से इज हेलो सर होप यू आर डूइंग फाइन माय क्वेश्चन टू यू एज यू आर वन ऑफ द वेटरन हार्पेटोलॉजिस्ट इन इंडिया हाउ डू यू सी द सब्जेक्ट इन इंडिया ग्रो ओवर द ईयर व्हाट चेंजेस नेगेटिव्स और पॉजिटिव यू हैव विटनेस इन फैक्ट व्हेन वी हैव स्टार्टेड देयर इज अ वेरी स्मॉल ग्रुप वी आर वर्किंग वेरी फ्यू पीपल सम फ्रॉम गोवा Can't remember the, his name. Deshai, Dr. Deshai, Professor Deshai. Some from Mumbai, Jammu. There was some, and from, mostly from Karnataka, they were working. Okay. And what was at that time active, Shukuntala Khatre and others. And later, what we have seen, there is a drastic change, and credit goes to again to. Again to Shushil, Shushil that the with um, DST government of India has started training the aspirant heart pathologist, and that's why the schools and we have organized Shushil and we were also there, organized eight such schools, and the present day heart pathologist who were doing very well. Are all products of that school. True. So herpetology is blooming now, and that is due to that. You know this. Tomorrow, power will be Aaron will be coming. No. Yes. And when you meet Aaron, uh, herpetology school. Yes, very true. The very two thousand nine. Yes, two thousand nine, and Varad, your. This is the leading uh, uh, cartel guy. 
शैलेंद्र ओविजी प्रत्युष ऑल होड़ी दीपक एच टी जयादित्य दीपांकर मायरुल मायरुल मजिदुल मजिदुल ऑल आर साइपरी एच टी एंड ऑल्सो ललित गोज लाल लाल ऑल आर प्रोडक्ट ऑफ हार्पिटोलॉजी स्कूल सो हार्पिटोलॉजी स्कूल दो इट हैज ब्लाउ डिफाइन बिकॉज सुशील could not arrange it it's the main actually impetus when we met right from catfish kenatella kenatella yeah. indronil eric smith aaron bauer uh japan from japan in that's why as well as so many people david uh no in yeah. uh, also this um, big code Okay. So many people. Uh, all are, all are true, sir. So, sir, Chandru, Chandru, madam, madam has written like it's not hmm. a question. Super interview, sir, and we are very much aware of our Shoivar, sir. Well done, Joy. So, thank you, madam. Uh, then uh, we have this uh, Himadri Kolita is asking, sir. I don't have many ideas about amphibians in details. I think get some today from this interview. Okay, that's great. uh just look at uh, question yeah manush i'll just looking into questions yeah yeah debayon okay. has a, yeah debayon has a question my question is how far for how uh, my question is how far bioacoustic are important for the current identification of amphibian apart from morphometry and molecular analysis most of the calls of the amphibians of the eastern india are not available apart from the sonogram from form which is difficult for beginners like me to understand so this is what his question is the what's the question i'll just simplify he says like like there is a bird call database that we had already discussed there yeah. is a yeah, 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 yeah. bird call called database which is denokento so i'll just add to this and i'll like to respond to his this question because he said a very basic question because all the published data are in sonogram and that is very mm. hard for some uh, layman to understand or who are very new so uh, sonogram does not tell anything about the how it will sound in real life it's how it will uh, uh, is for compared to what now, happened uh, yes for cryptic species uh, it appears to be same but yes. when you make the sonogram it will give the differences yes true i i have so, seen it very very many times but he wants a, maybe can we start a sort of database of all the database eastern yeah eastern india what happened i had lots but all have got because that's why in cassette i don't know what will be recovered can be recovered or not so so what i can assure you all of you who are listening to uh, this program i can take the duty of um, maintaining a Uh, uh because i myself have call base yeah. so if you can contribute call and i can just make a base and we can start off with uh, soon it's a very good proposal yeah i have no call of this the uh, some species uh, which are endemic say for example you know uh, there's the limnonectis cassianus i have yes. the call yeah you told the, me very rare to get the call uh, and I, this, got, uh, I, i got it this time uh, from uh, siju i told you acha i got maybe I, i don't know i don't know we have to look at because to uh, that's a fast record on the northern side no limnonectis so, so we can compare though, the call anyway yeah uh, the, though this lati as latisem it has been uh, it has been reported from sijusa it is namari pakke pakke but yeah. Uh, subsequently, when we search it, we don't get that lattice there. Lattice now known as Cassianus. Okay. So we so can make a. That's. I believe for uh, Western Ghat there is one repository of that such type. No. Okay. You can start with. We can. We can go on. Yeah. So how we can. Uh, uh, okay. So we go to the next question, sir. It says mm. Samuel. Samuel says uh, Samuel was also in high school. Yeah. Oh no, 
Samuel was not in Harpool. R C was, uh, or Samuel was. I don't remember. So Shoibal sir, it is. It's very interesting that you we have collected a rare species. You clicked this Goshi from Nagaland. I have also hmm. saw one of uh, your student present in Mizoram regarding this. My yeah. question is: Do you plan to uh, for a redescription or DNA barcoding of the species in the near future so that we can have a better understanding of the rare species? Thank you and good luck. Yeah. Yeah, you do that. Yes, we we are already uh, uh, yeah, for we Samuel, are already, I, yeah we are in a process of doing that, and we will come up with not only this species but many of other species as well. So next, as a whole, you flip this. Yeah, and as a other, whole, you flip this. Other genus. Well, was yeah uh we are you click this we are talking about you yeah, click this yeah. goshi and all this morphometrically we had made all this now this molecular level we have to work out and process is going on you know madhurima is doing that yes yeah so sir i'll go to a question of chandrani uh, she asked a uh, very interesting can frog song or that is frog call be one of the element to understand climate change if yes how Yeah, this frog calls can be. Uh, in fact, um, we have to go into detail. No, it's very so difficult. Can, whether so, this, so, there is no study has been conducted on this. I believe so. so. So what we can do is, I can be the bridge between you and Chandrani, and I can carry forward because uh, it will be beyond the scope of this discussion because it's a very limited. Uh, we can uh, get yeah. in touch with Chandrani and you as well. So, uh, uh, Marjan. Maria asks, "Sir, pitfall can they be used for Sicilians? Pitfall trap, I mean. Sicilians, I believe they will clog it out. Yes, true. And then Praveen says, I'm sorry, I had a, that question of Praveen that I sent you that uh, he wrote again. Sorry, Praveen, that I missed. Uh, the question was, Hi, sir. Key character difference of Leptobrachium, like." Uh, Leptobrachella and Leptolalax. Lepto Leptolalax. In fact, huh. it's for Waller and Dewar. Huh. Those who separated Leptolalax into two subgenus. One is Leptolalax and is Lalos. Okay. And the Lalos is being described as later big as Leptobrachella as a separate genus. Okay. And in case of Leptobrachian, we know the body is very stocky and wide head, and they have this mainly difference. What we have found is in the macro gland. Leptobrachium had pectoral and axillary glands, whereas pectoral axillary gland may be present in Leptolalax and Leptobrachina, but in Leptolalax you will get suprabranchial gland. I believe suprabranchial gland is the gland present at the end of suprabranchial fold, just above the uh, this forearm, at the insertion of the forearm. Whereas in leptobrachella, there's a you will get single femoral gland on each actually high single femoral gland, which may be oval or rounded. Okay, that's so, this uh, on the basis of the macro gland that can be differentiated others. I have almost same characteristics, and now what we have found that have been distinct, uh, uh, differentiated by, based on molecule, without any morphological differences. Okay, sir. So, uh, uh, Hassan, uh, I think uh, we need not answer your question because it was already discussed in the presentation. So, but then you have to adhere to your uh, 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 government policies, and for Bangladesh, uh, it's very different from India. So you can just check it out and. Uh, do the euthanization and permission is the prime, and then accordingly to your government recommendation, you should uh, carry on. Uh, One more is, thing you have asked for: yes, alopa sir. and chrysopa. Ah, ah, sir, please. Uh, very me. specific. Very specific. Yes. Uh, that means uh, this is actually uh, very technical. In yes. alopa, first finger is larger than the second. Okay. Whereas in Trisopa it is F1 and F2 are almost of the same length. Okay. That means equal length. Equal. And uh, this the pa this these are actually all piney, and that's breeding male 
have nupitial spine in F1, that is on the first finger, in alopa. Yeah. Whereas in trisopike, it will be on the preprolex. That's an additional finger like projection. That's IMC, inner metacarpal. This prepolex on the first finger as well as the second finger. And you have asked about the uh, species found only whether in India or not. All are in Kashmir. Alopa, there are two species, Barbochensis, which is found in POK, Pakistan, as well as in Kashmir, India. And Alopa hajadensis, which is found in Pakistan, as well as in Kashmir. And this Chrysopa, there is a single species which is found in Afghanistan, Balochistan in Pakistan, as well as in Kashmir. So if we consider the Indian territory, it's found only this Alopa and Chrysopa found only in Kashmir. Okay, sir. So uh, Loni has a question, Loni Lohokar. She Lohokar, has like, yeah. hello, sir. I hope you are doing well. My question is since amphibians are so vocal, but unlike other countries, in India, very few database MPR. We already discussed Loni and we have to yeah. contribute ourselves. Since it is not there, we have to create one. Uh, Hassan uh, says, uh, please a bit uh, about eDNA. Hassan, what we do is we have a separate uh, talk. Uh, Aniruddha, we had already discussed. And Tuesday, I'll upload. There will be a phylogenetic talk on Tuesday where we'll do deal with DNA and sequencing and all. So eDNA, it, eDNA is uh, one thing. This if you have to collect the amphibian eDNA, put it in water for some time. Flakes okay. of skin will come out, collect it. Okay, okay great. Uh, which, field, which, field, which field guide do you recommend? Devayan Gayan says, which field guide do you recommend? If you are in Assam, uh, a book will come soon, one of the best in Assam. <laughs> it's on process. <laughs> for long, so, no? It's, it, we had planned and book is ready, but uh, we will be releasing it soon. And, long, uh, uh, long. and there are uh, field, field books are there. But yeah. when I had started, it was with books. We have talked about the books also. It was yeah. a book, that one. Can you see? Yes. And then th there is for uh, frogs. Sir. Can, you, can you show me, sir, again? We cannot see. Can you show me again? Frogs of genus Rana, yes. It's 1920 Bollinger. And also yeah, for the present. This yeah. one. Yeah, the Chandas, of, Chandas, 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 Chandas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chandas. these are all available online nowadays. So yeah. uh, I'll, I'll just recommend one more for amphibian as of now. That is Amphibians and Reptiles of Northeast India by uh, Firoz et al. Firoz Ahmed, Ovijit Dash, and Chuchil Dapta. And that's a, actually a field book. Good book. And yeah. yeah. And another kind of thing, just I like to show you. One is that um, we talked about higher 1994. We are following that. In, uh, in, in recent times, this book has also become very popular. Which, sir, now what is? Amphibians, Ecology and Conservation. There's the methodology. OK. A handbook of techniques. Okay, this is a great book. And this is a very, we have large number. Of, this is a very interesting book to go to. Track and Science of Reptiles and Amphibians. It's nice, sir. Uh, go through. Okay, I'll, uh, if somebody asks me, I'll take the names from you. Sir, David Raju asks you, Sir, one yeah. question. Why there are more amphibian in Western Ghat than in Northeast India? Is it because less study in amphibian in Northeast India or because of other reasons? This Western Ghat is very well studied. Okay. Right from very long, you know, uh, this right from the start of this present century, amphibian works were mostly carried out in Western Ghat. And there are only few publications of Northeast India. And Northeast India's actually study being made in this present actually century, started well in this present century, only 20 years old, whereas Western Gate it is almost 100 years old. 
and there are areas which are actually inaccessible terrain why uh, earlier people actually skip that area because this inaccessible terrain and also there's uh, malaria and other types of diseases are prevailing here so we have only 20 years i i don't think this uh, northeast india will be lagging behind it will be almost similar in species richness to other areas and you know this rich sleep uh, we know that biogeographically western ghat is the reef there's that kit recently in 2012 of course this living in city as back uh came and biju actually uh recorded this area this north east india is another refuge yam for kt extinction that means it's the point of origin of certain species which then being spread out to other areas sir this is an important question it is asked by a class 12 student so i feel this is more important so yeah. I, i i'll take that question and he asked like hello sir i do not have any biology background in my class 12 in school i want to learn about reptile can you guide me which literature should i study and what should be my approach so we are running out of time what we can do is you can write to me in uh, my uh, inbox and i can give you some literature so uh, yeah. next is koshik devti sir uh, yeah. since you since you describe alola assamensis do you support uh, teprobenicas being shifted to euporidon while palchera and assamensis remain in kalola what is the question so he says that uh, because yeah. uh, kalola uh, uh, teprobenica is shifted to euporidon yes and this rest to our yeah it's it's been done with studying the characteristics of peridon and i believe it's a molecular study that has been made it is coming close to this and yes. we don't know this taptobonica taptobonica sri lanka is the type locality yes so for my knowledge goes kalula yes. taptobonica sri lanka probably the type locality or southern india and okay. it has also been recorded uh from northeast india in assam also and now the thing what we have found those which are widely distributed species yes that's a large number of cryptic species as well which is true for there's the widely distributed species like bufo that's now dr prajas as well as for euphlictis you were coming out with feather varia so many species are coming out uh, initially when we have started there was only two species one is limnocaris and other is keralensis now you see how many species yes sir so uh, shangita sangita das ask questions like uh, uh, that question will uh, uh, she ask uh, sir i hope the question on how to remove the fear on touch slimy organism like amphibian and snake how to begin so sangeeta since we are running out of time the next time you see sir in don bosco university you can ask this question directly front to front to him so i keep this question on uh, hold as of now because uh, we are almost one and uh, one you will go on touching it if the fear yeah. will go yeah uh, but yeah okay so number is left and projol projol says projol ray he says sir can you please elaborate how to record call on a very good question how to record mm. call on amphibian is there any particular angle or distance of the device to be held my another question is which taxonomic character are essential to look into the genera like philotas and or rochester my last question these are three question my last question can webbing formula relative toe length and relative finger vary in individual to individual so sir i'll just uh, make it short like first question is uh, uh, how to do call recording how to do call recording this what that is called single sided i can't remember oh uh, this, uh, this one ha huh, mic shotgun mic shotgun mic but it will record only from this specific locality yeah. this is this. shotgun sir yeah acha this shotgun and uh. that has to be actually mount on stick because okay. you can't go near that 
as a, uh, when you can't go near because it will stop either it will stop calling or it will get disturbed so you just go near it and uh, instead you put it on the stick and make it as close as possible without any disturbances and also if there are disturbances like wind or rain rain it's raining then your call pattern will change so okay. it has to be a steady climate not in rain or wind because then what happened the wind sound will start coming as a disturbance okay uh, so this sushmita core says are many potential areas that i have seen lack uh, fruitful research and survey those areas are uh, either politically or uh, uh, physio geographically inaccessible my question how to overcome the issue uh, so now i'll just uh, add to that like sushmita nowadays uh, northeast is quite accessible so so many research has been done and uh, there is not much political unrest as it used to be so that's why you are seeing lots of species been described from northeast india so sir in this point of time i want to say like uh, are we like uh, are we just go very briefly to your second slide that is very very important yeah. in this context okay. and uh, just go through very quickly to that go through very quickly and whenever required you just ask otherwise you go on explain because it's ah uh, you can see it properly okay so uh, i'll just uh, do this because you are my representative okay no it's it's fine but people want to see you uh, so uh, I, can you see my change look up yeah it's yeah i have seen sir lock, lock, lockdown face lockdown face and you are cold blooded you are not operating fan as well so that also i have noted not i am not cold blooded i am sweating oh no fan anyway because so everything can you see the go, can you see through. the yeah okay so uh these are some of the things just uh, first slide you go just first slide uh, no, no, yeah the goal to sample the organism next yes. what's the goal you can make these are the way we can yes true go on go on oh so i'll just go through a bit so i we don't go into detail so this slide looks interesting and as of now this slide uh like uh, most of the I, if you can see my i can see the slide better so i'll just go through like most important thing that may you may have missed out the interorbital area is the area between the eyes so this is the interorbital yeah, area you, uh, interorbital area you show it in the amolox showing the uh, okay so this, uh, right. pineal right. gland yeah yes yeah. so this is the pineal gland that amolox in amolox it's very important and this is the inter orbital area it's important and this is the internarial space so uh, then we go to basic upper arm humeral gland hum humerus is the hands name the bone is humerus so this 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 gland is the humerus gland that you can see my mouse is pointing then lower arm first finger these are all okay any uh, go to the next go to the next okay. oh no yeah okay. show you uh, show them the vomeri Okay. And then so next is, slide. Okay, this is the vomerine. Uh, vomerine. Thing. No, no. Next slide, you show. Next slide, it is clear. Okay, clear. So there are various type of vomerine teeth which are important for uh, identifying amphibians. So here, the if you can see the vomerine teeth, the positioning of vomerine teeth are different in all of the thing, all of the three uh, individuals. So either they are angular or straight. Sir, can you give a little bit of detail on vomerine teeth? Okay, the vomerine ridge over which yeah. the teeth are present. The vomerine, actually, what's the position in between the quani? Okay, whether it is anterior, posterior, okay. or at line. Okay, you see the first it is posterior so, sir, to vomerine. So I just want to get them. What is quani, sir? Quani is the internal nostril. The nostril. Yeah. Hole you can see. Yes. The hole. <laughs> the two hole. In yes. between the two holes, the vomerine ridge is present, and yes. you see it may be anterior, posterior, at line, or it may be parallel yes. or angular to the quadri. And next to the actually wave and there's the uh, inner and outer metatarsal tubercle, the palmar tubercle, the fourth 
actually the fingers so so, so, so i'll just uh, i'll just want to highlight this because i feel this is important and uh, when i was learning it i become very difficult for me so uh, meta tarsal there are inner and outer you go, meta you go 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 there are better photographs okay so i go to the uh, we'll go, we'll keep on going so uh, this so, are the, uh, this is specifically for dr friday's what are the different yes. types of ridges yes yes so uh, this is like uh, just tell sir about this what is the difference between stomaticus and uh, melanostricus stomaticus don't that not have ridge where is the uh, you won't get any ridge there but in yes, case of parietal parietalis uh, Huh. Doctor Finus parietalis and uh, that is melanostricus. Parietal ridge is present in parietalis, whereas it is okay. absent in melanostricus. Okay, okay, okay sir. So uh, this is uh, this, is, this is to show the dorsolateral gland, yes, dorsolateral glandular fold, uh, and also yes. the rectal gland. W which one is this? Rectal gland? Small white, whitish at the end. This is the yeah. white is at the end of the uh, upper jaw. Yeah, this white one. White is gland. Yeah. Yes. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, okay. ah. The rectal gland. These are the different types of actually suprabranchial fold. Okay. So what is suprabranchial fold, sir? This is a, sorry, supratympanic, not suprabranchial. Okay. Supratympanic Supra fold. Tympan these over the tympanum? Yeah. Yes. Not brachial. Are... Sorry, I am extremely sorry. Yeah, it's a supra uh, tympanic fold. Tympanic here I fold. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, mm. what are the different types of eye and their color? The, what's the nature of the people? Yes, uh, some are uh, uh, slit, some are uh, round, some are horizontal, some are vertical. The vertical. first one is so, horizontal. You, Somewhere, first one is, you Some see, it is Rhacophorus rotopus. And you see Bumpu? Uh, I see Bumpu, yes. I see Bumpu. This What's is the, the nature of these people? It's uh, vertical. And that one is horizontal. Which one, sir? Yeah. The first one? Rotopus. Rotopus. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. yes. Uh, so we go to the next one, sir. Yeah, 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 it's, it's your, your yes. different types of fingertips. Uh -huh. So it's it's something to do with habitat, sir. The different modification of fingertips. Yeah, yeah, huh? that's that's something to do with habitat. If, if you will find this actually broadened tip, mostly yes. on arboreal as well as stream dwelling species. Like I think, sir, this is amolops, right? Yeah. And this is Recophorus, this is Recophorus, this is Recophorus, yeah. this is Recophorus, this is Recophorus, yeah. this, this is, I think this is Polyp, uh, uh, there it's, are, anyway, uh, this is Fejarveri, I think. Yeah, Minerveri so you Anarchy. will get in Dicroglossidae, there's a basic difference between Dicroglossidae and Ranidae. Yes, sir. You will find most, in most of the cases, Dicroglossidae, the fingers are pointed or blunt, but in uh. Ranidae, the fingers ah. are somewhat actually dilated, tip, okay. or digital tips are dilated. Okay. It okay. may be in the form of pear shaped, it may be rounded, it may be truncated. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. This, this, uh, you see here, you can show them the IMT and OMT. Okay. Um, I, I Here, you have, uh, this is the outer metatarsal tubercle. Inner, inner. This is inner, sorry. This is, this is inner. Yeah. This is inner and this is the outer meta. Outer. Tarsal tubercle. Tarsal. Uh, tarsal. Tarsals, yeah. Tarsals are the Complex. toes. Cartals ah. are the fingers. Hand. Hand. The beta tarsal, this, uh, the fingers with hand. And this is okay. at the base of the first toe. Okay. Okay. So, okay, sir. inner and base of the last toe, that's the outer. So, uh, uh, there is one thing that we can show you sometime around. Uh, it's we're not very clear here. The webbing, how to do the, sorry, how to do the web formula. So, here, here if you can see, uh, return one, two, three, four, five fingers. So, this is the uh, first finger. This is the second, third, fourth, fifth. So, if you, if we can see. Two, that, two. 
uh, sorry toe so if you can see that the first one the first toe uh, connects to the second at the ba- at the tip so it becomes zero so that can that we can do it in another section we can make something out of it so that you can understand you, you see the webbing it's written webbing huh huh in the huh, text webbing yeah yeah yes, it yes. is described go to the next yeah this is nice you see yeah so uh, if i can just tell you it's very important and i was ve- very much confused for uh, most of my time part of my research so you see 1 2 3 4 5 and this is relation between 1 and 2 is 0 0 this side is 0 this side is 0 which means the tip and we are counting this uh, we are counting this according to the uh, this uh, what was the name sir Number. number uh, of segment out of the that means the first set set subarticular sub- tubercle tubercle so this subarticular tubercle is the one to, on based on which measurements are made so this is uh, zero this is uh, if the tip so the zero so everyone has a relation of zero because at, they are at the tip and recophorus has such type of fingers a uh, toes and then if we go to this one it becomes clear or i can take this example so if you see it starts with half so it's not at this is 1 this is 0 so somewhere between 1 and 0 so it says half and then it goes this side and it goes to uh, the relation with 2 is 1 so you see at this is 1 so here it goes and touches that one the so one thing is that yeah if we look at the finger hmm. if you look at the finger can you see finger yeah, uh, finger yeah, these are toes sir No, no, no. My finger. Oh, Can no, you wait, see sir, my wait, finger? No, no, wait, sir. Wait, sir. I'll just give you back to the screen. Uh, wait, sir. I'll... So here, here, here we are, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes. Can you see my finger? Yes. This is considered. This is the subarticular tubercle. Correct, sir. So if it is up to this, how many segment is free? Okay. One. Yes. That's the one. If it is yes. waving is up to that, how many fingers yes. are free? Segments half one. Yes. If it is there, one two like that it is counted. Okay. So we go back. Green. So yes, sir. So we go to the next slide. So yeah, these are the slides. Yes, very important. You look at the only the. SBL will not give you the size and the shape of this. So, what is the best way? Take the measurement of the head. Yes. Take the measurement of the trunk. Yes. Take the measurement actually length of the pelvic region. Yes. And multiplied with the width. Okay. You take the width, add it, and mm-hmm. take the live weight. multiply it it will give a better proposition of the shape of the body correct sir. so these are some of the landmarks that needs to be done uh, uh fdl head length head width at nostril so these are the data so this is the chart of and the, uh, the data chart. sheet data sheet so so as of now i think Uh, this is how the measurement were made okay. if you are doing a lots of measurement so uh, so these and advances so this is this is molecular taxonomy and edge so that we have already discussed sir so uh, these are something to do with these are the two species of uh, trilobite salamander found in india yes sir yes so so yeah, yeah. so we are at the end sir and if i if uh, let me see if we got some mm. more questions or not or else we had a really we ha- i am getting lots of messages and we really had a very fruitful discussion so as of now yeah we we do not have much question left so uh, thank you sir for your time and you gave me time more than i asked for and it was really brilliant that many of uh, us have learned many thing maybe So at the end, before you go, if you have any message for uh, the one who are trying to dive into the field of herpetology, so one more thing. 
uh, I will yeah. give yeah I will uh, yeah I will give you an answer later right yeah. now this is the Rauchistis and Philotus okay okay this is big actually separated molecularly so okay. it has to be looked into and the second thing is actually in terms of measurement that is like we have skipped yes try to find out what are the measurements that have been made earlier and make such measurements only don't reinvent anything if you reinvent you will not be able to compare correct and once i asked how you identify this deal in the deal was holding that i said it this is thing how it is he said you go and study more and more it will be an instinct to of identification so i will tell study more and more take specimen of the museum study them more and more and acquainted with the uh, characteristics as well and you will find several terms that are being used i was very much confused for the first 6 to 7 years of my actually uh, amphibian research what is canthus rostalis yeah yeah what did, uh, you have asked quani at the time yes. it was not known to be and that's nate was also not there so if you have anything any confusion you feel free to contact me and jaydikto will just give the number as well as the mass mail for uh, of me so that anyone can free to contact me and someone has written to me i at the time i was so busy that i couldn't answer that that about this uh what is that uh leptobrachium leptola laxan hey, you uh, have leptobrachella you, you uh, have answered no 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 it has been uh, uh, asked by someone in, from bengal west bengal okay, okay. uh and i could not answer today i have given the answer i believe the person who has asked me i can't remember the name i am an old person please forgive me i used to forget everything and no no sorry it's just please if, yeah please listen to it if you have further question you can call me thank you okay okay thank you so much sir i am ending the broadcast thank you so much for the time and i'll get back to you soon sir be safe Stay you too safe. sir yes sir thank you you too